when you guys have done two rounds of your five inchworms, 10 toe touches, and five push ups, you can just relax. So we're going through two rounds, five inchworms, 10 toe touches, and five push ups. When you are done and dusted, you can relax. Just two rounds, guys. Nothing crazy of your inchworms, your toe touches, and your push-ups. Very nice work, guys. All right, let's just wait for everyone to finish up their push-ups, and then we'll go through what we're gonna do for your strength session. All righty. Perfect stuff. Very nice, guys. Everyone's shoulders being a little bit more limber, feeling a little bit more mobile. No one's feeling super duper tight. A little bit more blood flowing into those shoulders. Everyone feeling good? All right, perfect. So what we're gonna do for the strength portion today, like I mentioned beforehand, we are going to be working on your handstand push-up strength. So we've got different progressions that you can choose um, which one you feel that you are at. Um, so from the super simplistic to the super complex, um, and then you can decide where you are at with your progressions with handstand push-ups. So every two minutes, you're going to perform 10 of the option um, that you choose. If I'll, I'll get to if you need to scale the amount in a second. First option is going to be pike handstand push-ups. And I've got my beautiful demo, Scott, waiting for me. He's going to demo some pike handstand push-ups. So you guys should see him on your screen. Um, if you don't, just shout and scream, and then we can... Um... Scott, these are the ones just on the floor, not, on, not with your feet elevated just yet. You know, in like a downward dog position? <laughs> so if you do pike handstand push-ups, you're going to be in a downward dog position. You're going to get your head to come in between your hands onto the floor, and then you're going to push up all the way back into that downward dog position. So this is the first progression. Your body's in a V shape. Hand, head uh, goes in front of your hands, not in between, with your elbows tracking backwards. Thanks, Scott. That's beautiful. So that's option number one. You can... I want you guys to try get 10 repetitions of that uh, pike handstand push-up position. If 10 is too many, by all means, you can scale down the reps um, if 10 is a bit too much. Everybody happy with the pike handstand push-up? So feet on the floor, down dog position. Make sure your back's nice and flat. Um, head become, comes in front of your hands, not in between your hands. So that's option number one. If that's a bit too easy for you and you're feeling a bit adventurous, we can then progress that to having our feet on a box. So Scott's now going to demonstrate box handstand push-ups. Now we're going to elevate your feet onto a box. Make sure that your back's nice and flat. From here, he's going to again send his hands down to the ground and head down to the ground in front of his hands and then pushing all the way up to flatten out his back again. So all the way to the ground and then fully extending his arms, straightening out that chest. Thank you very much, Scott. So that's option number two. Make sure that when you straighten out your arms, um, you guys are having a flat back. You're not kind of just pushing your arms out and keeping in a hunched position. You must get to that fully extended position at the top. All right? Everybody happy with um, box handstand push-ups? So that's option number two. Again, if you choose a box handstand push-ups because the pipes were too easy, but 10's a bit too much, all means you can scale uh, back from 10. Next up is if the box handstand push-ups are a bit too easy and you could probably bang out 15 um, easily, what you guys are going to do for me is you're going to do negative 
handstand push-ups. You're only going to do five because 10's a bit adventurous. Scott, do you mind demoing one negative handstand push-up for me? Yeah. So with these, you guys are going to jump up into your handstand push-up position and you're going to slowly lower yourself down all the way for your head to touch the floor. You're not going to push back up. You'll jump off the wall, then um, jump back on the wall to do another repetition. So the focus on this is not pressing. We're working that negative strength. Um, so you can slowly but surely build um, strength in that position, in that inverted position. So if now you're working on your full handstand push-up strength, this is the option for you. Again, only five repetitions, not 10. And finally, if you've got them and you want to work on some handstand push-up strength, we're going to go for your strict handstand push-ups. Now 10 is a, a lot of reps. So you scale this to how many you can achieve for each five sets. So whether that's three strict handsome push-ups each set, I want you to do three. If you can do 10, do 10. If you can do five, however many you can do, I want you to pick that rep scheme for each round. Scott's gonna demonstrate us one strict handsome push-up. So jumping up onto the wall, going all the way down to the ground and then pushing up. Beautiful, Scott, lovely. Very, very, very nice. Um, if you guys have maybe one, yes, Nina, round of applause. <laughs> if you guys maybe have maybe one or two strict handstand push-ups, what I want you to do is the remainder of the handstand push-ups that you have not gotten, I want you to do them as box handstand push-ups. So maybe you get two strict, do the rest as box. All right, so those are your different options. Every two minutes for five rounds, with your certain progression. Everybody happy with what they think they're gonna do? Confused, any questions? No? All right, if you start off doing maybe pike handstand pushups and you find that they're way too easy, next round you wanna go to the box, still box too easy, try some negative ones, get inverted, why not, let's have some fun with this, all right guys? What I want you to do is just do a set of maybe two or three, of whatever you're gonna be doing. Um, just to warm up that progression, find an option that you think is gonna suit you, have a feel around, and then we'll get started in a second and a half. I will get your timer ready. All right. Any questions before we get started? Jamie, are you gonna try some handsome push-ups? Negatives? Oh, oh, I just muted you again. Scissor. Oh, hold on. Wait, wait, I've just muted you. Not against the wall, I don't think. I'm gonna All take right. the, the, the chair, chair. Right. Perfect, I think that's good. Uh, yes, Fran, give me one second, yep. Uh, I haven't got a clue whether I'll manage even, if the pike is the easiest, presumably, isn't it? Yes, the option number one would be the easiest one. I'll give it a go, but otherwise I'll let you know, I just can't get down. All right, All right. if they are too challenging, mm -hmm. you can just do whatever progression you normally use for push-ups. Okay. Because um, it's still working your shoulder strength, yeah. um, and that kind of area's muscles. All right, guys, I've got your timer ready. We're going every two minutes. Please be careful um, you don't whack your head on that radiator, Leah and Lula. <laughs> um, and make sure that if you guys are doing handstand push-ups up against the wall, you don't knock yourself through the wall. All right, guys, so timer is set. I will be calling after your every two minute mark. And we're going in 10 seconds. In five, three, two, one, let's go. Nice, Scott. Lovely, guys. Very nice. 15 seconds down, so if you want to accumulate some more. Okay. 
Very nice. Nice, Maria. Guys, that set of 10, if you're doing a set of 10, should be challenging. If 10 feels super duper easy, you need to put your feet either up onto a box or start doing some negative ones. Georgia, I can't get my head to the ground. When you're doing the tight ones. Yeah. Is All it right. okay to keep yep. trying or should I do something else? Um, so what I want you to do for me, keep trying, but find something, whether it's uh, a pillow, maybe a small box if you've got one, a little stool if you have one, just so your head goes to something. Um, okay. so because it's all that that means is you don't have that end range of motion strength. Yeah. So I want you to try find something that your head can go to and slowly but surely lower that down to get your head to go to the floor. Okay, cool. Thanks. Perfect. All right, David, you need to pop your feet onto something. Those look far too easy. If I can't get 10, should I yep. do bike press-ups instead? Uh, no, stick with those, Jamie. You've got the strength in your shoulders. Well, let's accumulate some reps in that position. Because okay. the other one will be far too easy for you. All right, so we're going in 10 seconds, guys. Were you able to get one, Nina? Oh, wait, three, two, one. I'll ask you in a second, I had you muted. Nice, David. Lovely, Fran. Very nice, guys. Absolutely amazing. Nice, Fran. Very nice. Nice, Sally. Scott, are you able to get 10 each round? Very impressive, <laughs> so far. <laughs> All right, while you guys are resting, we still got just over a minute. Um, for you guys that are either doing them pike or if you're doing pike, but with your feet elevated, there's one thing I want you to make sure of. I'm just gonna grab a chair so I can show you. So, when you are in your pike position, I want you to make sure that you're not just here and doing that. I want you to be here and then do that. So you always get back to that position, not here. So straight line from your wrists to your shoulders, to your hips, not in a kind of push-up position. So make sure that, did you guys see what I meant, meant by that? So if I have my feet elevated as well, I'm here, not here. So really push your head through your shoulders. We've got 20 seconds and we're going for set number three. <laughs> Ooh, wait, there, wait, wait, there we go. Okay. Yeah, so I can't, I can't, I have about that much where I just go down. Three, two, one, guys. All right, Nina. If you continue going, I'll speak to you while you do your things. Okay. Uh, do you have something that you can um, pop beneath your head like a book or a pillow, something to just shorten that range of motion. Okay. Hold that. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely guys. Scott, by all means, if you want to start increasing the reps from 10, you can. <laughs> That's much better, David, much better. Lovely, Maria. How are they feeling, Jamie? Oh, I've missed you. <laughs> I only got like three that round. Three. All oh. right, so what I want you to do, get as many as you can in that pike position, then drop That's down fine. with your feet onto the floor and do the rest of them in a, uh, with your feet on the floor. Okay. All right, you've got very strong shoulders, but not in that position. So we need to start building it in that position, all right? Okay. Perfect. All right, guys, how are they going, Maria? It's aching already. 
<laughs> but it's better with the cushion. <laughs> so they, they, do you get like a burning sensation all over your arms? No, it, in here. I can put it in there. All right, perfect. That means you're doing something right. Don't okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> you might feel it in your shoulders here. Um, I don't know, sometimes when I do handstand push ups, I get like a sensation all over my arms. It just depends on your body. That's fine. That's just your muscles working hard. Ooh, deliveries, deliveries. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going for set number four in three, two, one. Let's go. All right, let's have a look. See, Nina, big push. Nice, Scott. Very nice. Lovely, Fran. Keep going, Jamie. Keep going. Come on. That's it. Absolutely lovely work, guys. Nice. Very nice. All right. You guys have got one more set to go. So finish up the set that you're on. Let's give the shoulders a little bit of a rest off um, before we go into the final set. They're looking very nice, guys. For those of you that are doing them on the floor, they look lovely, very, very nice. If you're able to get 10 reps, like I said, quite easily, try do the, um, the one with your feet elevated to see how those go. Um, if you're doing it with feet elevated and those are quite easily, um, next time we come to this, we can try move you onto the negative um, handstand push-ups. But they look lovely, very, very nice. Right, we've got about 35 seconds to go. And then we're going into our final set. If you guys don't have any dumbbells or kettlebells or anything like that at home, but you wanna try build your shoulder and arm strength, your pressing strength, these are fantastic as you can probably tell, they're not very easy and they're gonna build tons of strength in your shoulders. So if you don't have any weights, but you still want strong shoulders, these movements are for you. All right, we're going in. Five seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Last set. Nice, David. Oh, careful. <laughs> nice, Fran, lovely. Come on, Scott. Lovely, Lula. Sally, your shoulder's feeling it. <laughs> Fran, how did those feel? Yeah, it's the bloody wrists that's the problem. Yes, we've got to be super duper careful with them. I know, but everything, everything, you need your wrists really, don't you? You do, yeah. Um, don't stress, Leah, Lula, I got you. That is so hard. <laughs> that is extremely difficult. That makes it so easy, I could do six. That's, that's, that's fine, Sally, that's good. That, um, the first set, I managed ten, but then it just went downhill from then. Yes, well, your shoulders are very small muscles and they do fatigue very quickly. So building endurance in your shoulders takes quite some time and it's just an accumulation of reps. Um, like Scott probably has done tons of these in his life, am I right? And you've built up the ability to do large sets over time. Um, you've just got to accumulate sets and reps and build some strength and some, some endurance in your shoulders. But they look lovely, guys. Really, really nice. If you guys um, found that you were struggling on the progression, um, when we come to these again, because I'm sure we will, um, and it will probably be taking your class, when we do them again, stick with whatever progression that you were on, whether it was the pike with your feet on the box, if 10 reps was challenging. If 10 reps was easy, Next time we come to it, I want you guys to try the harder option, all right? So feet on your box, doing the negative handstand push-ups or doing the strict handstand push-ups. Um, and then we can just accumulate some progressions from there and get you guys 
getting some handstands. All right, very nice. Nina, I want some strict ones next time. <laughs> All right, very, very nice work, guys. Give the shoulders a bit of a shake off. Um, and then I'm going to take you through what we're going to be doing for the workouts. Our workout today is um, a core based workout. We're going to be working on some uh, core exercises and then a little bit of a twist, which I'll explain in a second. The workout is in the chat if you want to have a look at it while I talk you through it. So what we're going to be doing, five rounds for time of 30 mountain climbers, 20 V-ups, and 10 leg raises. So that is your workout, five rounds for time, 30 mountain climbers, 20 V-ups, and 10 leg raises. However, there is a slight twist. Every two minutes, you're gonna perform five down-ups. That is the little twist. So just to get that heart rate jacked up a little bit, um, and make you guys work a little bit harder. So for your movements, mountain climbers. These, what I want you guys to do, we're gonna have a, um, a warm up in a second, but your mountain climbers, you're gonna start in a plank position. Make sure that it's a nice plank position. Your hips aren't dropping, your hips aren't too high in the sky. Nice, tucked plank position. From here, your knee is gonna come all the way to your elbow, then you're gonna swap legs nice and quickly, alternating between each leg. 30 of those. One rep is knee to elbow, knee to elbow on each side. So that's one. So both sides is one rep. You're gonna perform 30 of those. After you've done 30 mountain climbers, you're gonna go into 20 V-ups. So for your V-ups, we've got a few options. Option number one is a full V-up. Feet are gonna start out in front of you, arms behind your head. From here, you're gonna touch your feet, go back into that hollow position, touch your feet back into the hollow position. Try not collapse at the bottom. So don't kind of go from here, then touch, then collapse. <laughs> Try to keep a nice hollow, touch your feet back into hollow, all right? From there, we can just do normal tuck-ups if the full be up to the challenging. So starting with our legs, arms outstretched, tucking our knees into our chest, and then going back into the hollow. Um, and then last progression is just toe touches. So legs above our head, arms outstretched, we're just gonna tap our toes for 20 reps. Finally, your um, leg raises, nice and simple, just to finish off your core. You're gonna be lying on your back, arms can be on the floor next to you. You're just raising your legs to 90 degrees, then slowly lowering them, not letting them touch the ground, and then all the way back up. So making sure that that lowering phase is controlled, and you're not just kind of letting them <laughs> Fall down, swing them up, you're lowering them nice and slowly. All right, guys, everybody happy with those three core movements? Yep, perfect stuff. Yes, Nina? Again, um, you know, because my, my back goes funny, yep. what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 10 V ups and then I'm going to do that hollow rock to try and strengthen that lower bit, stretch like we talked about yesterday. If you want to, these will also strengthen your core. They're gonna do the exact same thing. I find after 10, I then clump down. All right. That, yeah. Then I'm happy with that, that's fine. All right, guys. Um, and then final movement is your every two minutes, your five down-ups. And I'm gonna pick on you, Nina. You're gonna perform a down-up for me. You guys should be able to see her on your screen now. So down-up, chest down to the floor. And then standing all the way up, there's no jump at the top. All you've got to do is stand up. One more, Nina. Thank you very much. So those, thank you, awesome. Round of applause. <laughs> very, very nice. All right, so those are your movements. We're going to have a quick warm up before we get started. So I want you guys to go through 10 mountain climbers, five V-ups, five leg raises, and three down ups. So 10, five, five, three, twice through. Let's go. How much are we doing? You, you cut out a little bit. Oh, sorry. 10 um, mountain climbers, then five V ups, five leg raises, and three down ups.
All right, guys. So the objective of this workout, obviously, is to get through the five rounds as quick as you can with the darn down-ups interrupting you every two minutes. <laughs> um, but I want you to make sure that you are working with purpose. You're not rushing through the core and letting your technique go completely out the window. Um, so make sure you're focusing on keeping the core nice and controlled. It's, you're moving well um, and trying to get them done as quick as you can. All right, two rounds. We'll wait for everyone else to finish up. And I will get your every two minutes. So I'll call out your um, every two minute mark. We shall have, an, mm, let's think, 16 minute time cap on this workout. I think 16 minutes is generous. Let's see if you guys can finish it within, with underneath the time cap. So you'll just move through the five rounds as quick as you can. And then every two minutes, as a little interruption, you will perform your five down-ups. All right, so two rounds of your warm-up, guys. Ten mountain climbers, five V-ups, five leg raises, and three down-ups. Any questions while we wait to get started? Or are you guys ready to rock and roll? I take you guys are ready to rock and roll a bit. <laughs> yeah, stuff. All right, if you guys wanna get some tunes ready, we're gonna start in about a minute's time. So get your music going, get your core ready, um, and then we'll get moving. So five rounds, 30, 20, 10, Every two minutes, we will perform five down-ups. You guys ready? Perfect, 10 seconds. 16 minute time cap, you guys should finish far before the time cap. We're gonna start in five, three, two, one, let's go. Starting with your 30 mountain climbers. Nice, Fran. So 30 mountain climbers, once you've done your 30 mountain climbers, it's onto your 20 V-ups. So 20 V-ups after your mountain climbers. Once you've done your 20 V-ups, it's onto your 10 leg raises. Nice, Scott. Halfway there. Halfway, guys, you got one more minute and then we're going into our down ups. Keep it up, guys, keep it up. Come on, Jamie. Nice, Scott. Absolutely amazing work, guys. Make sure that those leg raises, they're nice and controlled all the way down. In 20 seconds, we're going for your down ups. Ten seconds. Ten George, seconds. Can I do instead of the mountain climbers? Because I hurt my brain a bit. So. All right, give me one second. All right, continue when you are, and I will... All right, is it sore when you pull your leg in? Leg in, yeah. So what I want you to do, everyone else continue on, lie on your back. Let me just move the timer for a second so you can see. Everyone continue on, continue on, guys. So you're going to lie on your back, right? From here, just bring your elbow into your leg, okay? So alternating okay. sides. All right, do you see what I mean? Yeah. 
See how that goes. Oh, I can't do that. <laughs> that was a bit sore. Oh, I think I've been doing too much. That's... All right, let me know how that feels, Sally, and then we can change it if we need to. Okay. For those, I want you to cut the reps down to 20, though. I don't want you to perform 30, I just want 20. Keep it up, guys. You've got one more minute, and then we're back into our um, down-ups. Keep it up, Jamie. Keep it up. Nice, Nina. Nice, Maria. Come on, Lula. Come on, Leah. Let's go. Thirty seconds, guys. Thirty seconds. Keep it up, Scott. Absolutely crushing it. Nice, guys. Ten seconds. Come on, guys. Come on. Three, two, one. Into your down ups. Straight into those down ups, guys. Straight in. Make sure your chest goes all the way to the floor, David. That's it. That's it. Nice, Scott. Come on. Big push. Nice, Jamie. Keep moving, guys, keep moving. Nice, Jamie, nice. There. One more minute, guys, and then we're back onto your down-ups. Let's try to get as far through as we can before those come again. Come on, Jamie. Come on, Scott. Nice, Maria. Nice, Sally. Keep it up, guys. 20 seconds. And 10. Three, two, one. Into your down ups. Come on, guys. Straight in. Nice, Scott. Lovely. All done, Scott? Absolutely fantastic. That was super fast. That was like seven, six minutes. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Come on, guys. Keep it up. You've got this. Very nice work, Scott. Very, very nice. Come on, guys, keep it up. One minute, guys, one minute left. You guys are doing awesome work. Just keep moving, come on. Nice, Jamie. 
Nice, Nina. Come on, David, come on. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. Ten seconds, guys. Come on. Squeeze in as many before we get to the down ups. Three, two, one. Into your down ups. Straight in, guys. Straight in. Come on, Sally. Come on, Maria. Nice, David. Come on, Jamie. Come on. Nice, Fran. Keep it up, guys, keep it up. I wasn't tired, I wasn't counting, so I've got no idea how many I've done. How many do you think you've done? No idea. <laughs> um, you can continue, you can do one more, two more if you'd like. Um, I don't know how everyone else is doing. Nina, you're on four. All right, Sally, I would say do one more. There. Nice, Jamie, are you on your fourth or fifth one? Fourth one. All right, perfect. Scott, you absolutely destroyed that. <laughs> That's very impressive. Are your um, hip flexors sore? I can imagine from all of those V-ups. Oh, I'm sure. Come on guys, keep it up. 20 seconds before we go into your um, down ups again. Keep moving guys, keep moving. 10 seconds. And three, two, one, into those down ups. Straight into those down up guys so we can get cracking again, moving through that core stuff, come on. Keep pushing guys, keep pushing. Nice Fran, come on. George, just checking, when we do something like this, when, we, when you interrupt it, if you haven't finished the 30, 20 and 10 of the exercises, do you go back to where you finished or just start again? Go back to where you finished. After the down. Go back to where you finished. Yeah, that's what I was doing. That's all right. At least I did that bit right. <laughs> yes, yeah, so carry on from wherever you left off. Come on, Nina, come on. Lula, Leah, you guys finished? Amazing work, how's your core feel? <laughs> just, just no. <laughs> lovely work, girls, lovely stuff. Come on, guys, come on. You've just got about four and a half minutes left. Four and a half minutes left. Jamie, last round. Let's go. Dave, last round. Perfect. Maria, how are you getting on? Round five, let's go. Fran? Keep it up. And into your down ups, guys, into your down ups. Straight in, guys, straight in. Come on, guys. We're nearing the end now. So let's try, keep pushing through.
Nice, Jamie. David, all done? Okay, got you. Let's finish it up. Come on, Fran, keep moving. Nice, Maria. Come on, Nina, come on. Let's go, Jamie, let's go. Come on, Sally. You guys have got three minutes left on the clock. Three minutes left. Come on, Nina. Come on, Sally. Let's go, Maria, let's go. Come on, Jamie, let's finish it up. These are your last few, come on. 20 seconds, guys, 20 seconds. Ten seconds. And three, two, one, into your down ups. All done, Jamie? Lovely work. For those of you guys that are not finished yet, this is your last two minutes. So let's try push, let's try finish it. I finished it. <laughs> oh, very nicely done, David. Very nice, son. <laughs> Just decided to do an extra round, that's fine. <laughs> Very nice work. Come on, Fran. Let's go, Sally. Come on, guys, you've got 90 seconds to go. So if you're on your last round, if you're on your second last round, wherever you're at, let's try, let's try to get as far through this as we can. Come on, Fran, you've got this. Let's go, Needle. let's go. Nice, Maria, very nice work. Keep it up, Sally, keep it up. Halfway there. Last minute, guys, you're on your last minutes. This is your last minutes to push through, see how far you can get through. Keep moving, guys, keep moving. Nice, Fran. Nice, Maria. 30 seconds, guys, 30 seconds left. Let's try squeeze in as many reps as we can if we're not done yet. And 15 seconds. 10, seconds. five, three, two, one, and you guys are all done. Stop where you are if you haven't finished yet. Absolutely amazing work, everyone. I'm just gonna unmute you guys. Very nice work, everyone. And for those of you that have finished, absolutely amazing. For those of you that weren't able to finish, you guys still crushed it. 16 minutes of solid core work, so you did yourselves proud. Very nice. How'd you guys find it? I didn't know we had to do so many reps. How many reps were we meant to do? Of what? Of each of them? Yeah. 30, 20, 10. And, and then how many rounds? Five rounds. Oh. <laughs> were you just going through it? <laughs> Don't stress. David also decided that he was going to continue going through it. <laughs> Uh, but that's, I fine. that's what I did. Yeah. <laughs> Don't stress, guys. You still did well. I, I didn't even realize. I thought, Nina, haven't you been on your fifth round for a while now? <laughs> but, but very nice work, guys. It's fine. Overachievers. <laughs> very, very nice work. Big congratulations to Scott. He absolutely destroyed it. He's got it in like six minutes and a half. Yeah, I stopped going. Uh, you should have done it twice over. You should have Scott. continued moving. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Oh, work. Oh, Let us get stretched out. My God. Really small. Pardon, oh. Sally, what did you say? My my groin is really sore. Yeah. 
I think I've been doing it. <laughs> when I do mountain climbing, it's actually yeah. really painful. Really painful when is I'm in my knee. Is it groin? So is it the area here? So inside the thigh, or is it the area here? Right here. Right here. <laughs> that oh might God. be. Okay. It? it might be not your groin, it might be a hip flexor, mm. not a groin. Okay. Yes, yeah, hip flexor just My there. hip flexors are killing. Yeah. yeah, I think, because Scott was also complaining about a hip flexor straight, um, pain. When you do all of these exercises, your hip flexor is a muscle over here. So on the front of your quad, right at the top, uh, from your hip, yeah. that type of area. So doing leg raises, doing sit-ups, all of that stuff will work your hip flexors, it helps that um, hip flexion. Um, so that's probably why you can feel it. If you've ever wondered, mm -hmm. slight deviation of topic, why we do butterfly sit-ups, it's because it eliminates the hip flexors in helping you sit up. Um, so that's why we do, because if you do sit-ups like this, your hip flexors will work to flex your hips. But when you turn your legs up like this, they can't do anything anymore. And then you're just using your core. So that's what I think is hurting you. We'll give those a bit of a stretch off. Keep me updated on how they feel as well, though. I think it's because I've been doing lots of those sort of exercises like this week, and I think I've overdone it. <laughs> I think take the weekend to rest and relax, see if they improve, and then we can go from there. Yeah, okay. All right, guys, let's get those stretched out first. So what I want you guys to do... We're going to come into a lunge position. However, before we start lunging forward, I want you to squeeze this bottom. So squeeze this bottom and then start lunging forward. You should be able to feel that you're quite restricted in how far you can go. And you should feel a stretch down the front of your quad. So that's as far as I can go. If I release my bottom, that's as far as I can go. So squeezing your bottom, and then go forward. We're just going to hold that for a few seconds. Can you feel it, Sally? Oh, yeah. Can you guys feel it over, over that area? I'm trying to breathe. <laughs> All right, guys, let's change onto the other leg. So again, squeeze your bottom. Big squeeze in that bottom and then lunge forward. Oh Keep your torso nice and upright as well. Don't lean forward. So, all the way nice and upright. Oh, Jesus. Shall I stretch it over the week? Shall I do these stretches over the weekend? Um, I, just complete I would say stretch it, but don't over stretch it because that might hurt it more. So maybe once a day, but that's enough. All right, guys, come out of that position. Let's get your core stretched out. So lying on your stomach, we're just going to push up, stretching out that core. If you can't fully extend your arms, that's fine. Try to keep your hips on the ground, though. Can I do yoga on Saturday? Yes, Leah's yoga is fantastic. I recommend it. I've been doing it, but I just wanted to make sure I'd be all right to do it. I'll tell her anyway tomorrow. Yes, yeah, she's on the class, so she can I can hear you, Sally. That's fine. Yeah. Yes. All right, guys. I'll just come out in front of you. Let's stretch out those shoulders. All right, like we did earlier on, I want you to walk your hands to one side, stretch down that one lat. And then walking to the other side, stretching out that other lat. Yeah, nice. 
walk your hands back to the middle. Sit up, guys. You are done for today. Awesome work. Very nice handstands. Very nice workout. Um, hopefully, you guys are enjoying seeing some progressions because uh, we've done quite a bit of handstand work and lots of core. Um, so hopefully, you guys are feeling stronger in those positions, feeling that you're able to move through a few more reps before you start fatiguing. Very nice work, everyone. Hope you have a fantastic afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Georgia. Georgia. Cheers, guys. Go oh, thank you all. Or run. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. I'm off to do class now, Leah. Oh, pardon? I'm going to go and do your stretch now. Yeah. People have been loving them, by the way. We've got yeah. lots of very positive feedback. Yay. Hope I've done a few of them. They're very good. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Awesome. See you guys soon. See you all then. Bye. Cheers.